Hello, my name is Alex and this is the next episode of the Agile Pen Hold project. I'm happy to see that my first video was received so well. The feedback was positive and encouraging. Thanks everyone who dropped me a line. There were a number of questions. In this video I'm going to address them. By far the most popular question was how exactly to make the Agile Pen Hold racket. I finally found a professional 3D scanning service and now I have everything for the detailed step-by-step -step instructions. First of all, take a table tennis racket. It doesn't have to be a pen hold, I started with my old shake hand racket. Then please download the PDF and STL files using the link under this video. Print out the PDF file. Cut out this image like that and change the shape of your racket using this as a template. I used a manual jigsaw to cut out this part and the rotary tool to grind it off. You will have a racket shaped like this. After that, please send the STL file to any 3D printing service nearby and get a 3D copy of this little handle. Next, you should stick the handle to your racket. I recommend not gluing it right away, but sticking it temporarily with plasticine so you can try it out. I attached it so the edge of the little handle matches the bottom edge of the main handle. Depending on the model of your racket and the size of your hand, you may want to shift it a little bit. Once everything ready, it is testing time. Take your gel pen hold racket and put your thumb over there. Your middle finger goes here and the index finger goes like this. Now slightly bend these fingers and gently push the back side of the racket. On the front side apply a little pressure with your thumb to make it stable. It is important to relax your hand so you can feel the grip and find the right spots for your fingers. So this is a forehand grip. Play with it and make sure it feels comfortable. In case this little handle is too big, don't hesitate to grind it off to make it right for you. The transition to the backhand grip goes like this. Relax your hand and lift up the fingers on the back side of the racket, like this. Make your index finger loose. Then press it with your middle finger to rotate your racket. Your index finger goes to its new position and all four fingers get together. Let's have a closer look. Here is your forehand position. Now I'm changing it to the backhand side. You are effectively rotating the blade. The index finger goes from here to here. The thumb also slightly changes position. This is your backhand grip. Please make sure that during the transition your pinky and ring finger go freely. If they touch the edge of the racket, shift the position of the little handle or adjust the shape of the blade. To switch it back to the forehand side, relax your hand and gently rotate it with the thumb, moving the ring finger and pinky on the back side of your racket. This may sound complicated, but it is actually not. The whole sequence is quite natural. It's quite it's like rotating a control knob on a stove or a radio tuner. Just give it some time and you will master it soon. Once you're comfortable with that, glue the handle permanently with your favorite glue. Now you have everything to make your own agile pen hold racket. The next popular question, is it possible to play with two sides of this racket? Certainly. I have rubber on one side of my racket, but if you want to get tricky, you can use two rubbers and play the reverse penhole backhand together with the agile penhole backhand, and probably even use the other side of the racket for the forehand. However, I strongly recommend starting with one rubber. The main advantage of the agile penhole is that you don't have the elbow weakness, and you always know which side of the racket to use. Moreover, one rubber makes your racket lighter and helps you to master it. So start with one rubber 
inverted or pimples, it's up to you. Next question. Is it legal to play with a racket like this? The answer is yes, it is absolutely legal. The official rules of table tennis state that the racket may be of any size, shape or weight. I added the link to the rules to the description of this video. As you can see, I use a black rubber. According to the rules, the other side must be of a bright color even if it doesn't have a rubber. I covered the back side of my racket with a thin red film and glued a piece of black rubber for my fingers. Just in case, I showed my racket to an official table tennis umpire and he confirmed that it absolutely satisfies the rules. The last question was if I can provide longer demonstration of a jump and hold during the actual training. I will do it with pleasure. Please check out my next video with the clips from my recent training session. I covered the most popular questions about the Agile and Hold Racket. This style of play is fast and effective. Besides that, it is real fun to play with a racket like this. Give it a try and let me know how it is going. If you like this project, please consider a donation. At the moment, I can only accept donations in cryptocurrency. I would appreciate it. All the information below. Thanks a lot. I wish you the best luck in the new year.